previously. This is my episode. Clean this up. Oh, Let's what the f On Progression Series Season 2. No. We did it! Yeah, it was your fairy box, bro. It was your fairy box. It was box, the fairy box. Was. Bro, let me just go out on the record. Fuck you, MBT, bro. He's the one that said this car <laughs> chain energy was unbeatable. Bro, I lost twice to the own card. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally did it. Team Simo in the winner's circle for the first time in season two of the progression series. And damn, does it feel good. Now it's time to turn the tables on Gage because this is where the age of Simo will now commence. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel. Let's hope for the best because there's a few really good things on this wheel that could help us keep our lead and keep us in the winner's circle moving forward. Let's see what we're going to end up with. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Now, Labyrinth of Nightmare has some ridiculous ultra rares, right? Card of Safe Return is in here. What else do we got? United We Stand and Mage Power, which are actually insane. I think Gage has access to both of those, so that's a little bit scary. Dark Necrofear is pretty good as well. Also, Last Warrior from Another Planet is funny. Royal Command is half decent. Destiny Board is hilarious, but we're not going to be going down that route. But I think all of these cards pale in comparison to the best ultra rare of of Labyrinth of Nightmare and an all-star from season one, Torrential Tribute. Now the board is flipped. We've banned Raigeki for us to just in time nab Torrential Tribute from Labyrinth of Nightmare. Now it is us who has access to the only board wipe and it is going to get nasty. So let's go ahead and hand it on over to Gage so he can tell you all about today's set, Legacy of Darkness, because I have a feeling he's going to be telling you all about these sets for quite some time. It was bound to happen at some point, ladies and gentlemen, the first loss of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series, Season 2 on my end at least. Don't worry, we're going to catch back up to the winner's circle after this episode, but today we're going to be seeing some spirits and Legacy of Darkness. Released June 6, 2003, Legacy of Darkness was the introduction of the spirit monsters, which cannot be special summoned, and during the end phase when they're normal summoned or flip face up, they bounce back to your hand. Everybody remembers the longest man card in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history, Yadagarasu. This card can probably never come back. Old Gage used to say say this card could come back for sure. Today's gauge is much more wise and he says, nah, I probably should stay banned. Hot is pretty cool too. Negates the effects of monsters controlled by battle with fiends you control. He is a fiend himself. So anything like Mystic Tomato, Sangin and stuff like that, uh, they won't be able to trigger when Hades topples over them. Start to see more archetype cards come in. Uh, Warriors is the main one that gets a whole big push this set. You get Marauding Captain, which isn't too bad. He cannot target warrior monsters for attacks except Marauding Captain. And then when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level four or lower from your hand. Exiled Force, another one. Tribute it, target a monster on the field, destroy that target. And then, of course, the daddy, Rhoda, man. The most generic searcher the game has ever seen. Any card that has been printed after today's date that adds a monster from deck to hand is now considered a Rhoda. The card that started it all got its debut here in Legacy of Darkness. Another banned card coming in that would be miserable to play against in the progression series here, Fiber Jar. Oh lordy, this is one that we both missed last season. If one of us can get it this season and resolve it, it's gonna be a wacky episode. Some of the other standout cards of the set end up being Air Knight Parshath, Twin-Headed Behemoth, uh, and Azura Priest are all really, really solid cards, iconic cards of the GOAT era. Maybe not that much Twin-Headed Behemoth, but you know what I mean. Creature Swap is a crazy, crazy strong ultra rare being able to uh, trade our opponent any of our recruiters like Mystic Tomato 
or a giant rat and then just topple over them and get their effects while keeping the monster that they gave to us. And then Smoke Grenade of the Thief is a recent ban, actually not that good back in the day, but in today's game, Infernoble is just a little bit too strong with this equip card. And the basics, of course, we're looking to grab, trying to grab Royal Oppression, one of the Hall of Fames from last season. Bottomless Trap Hole is an extremely integral card. Since we don't have priority in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series, Bottomless is going to be kicking some ass. Injection Fairy Lily and Last Turn are also stellar, and Ominous Fortune Telling is one of the better burn cards that we've gotten in today's game. This one, 700 points of damage during each standby phase, it can add up pretty quickly. But of course, man, first one of the season, bro, the pity pack. Give me the tournament pack number three. I got one of them to crack open. It's about what I expected. We'll throw it in there. Okay, now onto the real opening today. We have Legacy of Darkness. All right, you guys, 24 packs of Legacy of Darkness. A lot of interesting strategies in this set, although I would say generally the power level of this set is a little bit weaker. There are some interesting things to talk about. So let's flip up pack number one here. A couple cards that are noteworthy. Uh, Ready for Intercepting allows you to just interact with a warrior or spellcaster that could actually be relevant with something like Dream Clown because it is in fact a warrior. This was actually like a Duel Links and Speed Duel card. So not actually the worst. Spark of Dark Ruler is a combat trick specifically for Fiends. And this card right here is something that I think it's grossly overlooked. Mysterious Guard. As a flip effect, target a face-up monster on the field. And if you control a face-up warrior type monster, you can target an additional face-up monster on the field. Return the first target to the top of the deck. So this is basically Legendary Jujitsu Master, but with only 1,200 defense. Then return the additional target, if any, to the hand if you still control a face-up warrior. So I don't really care about the second part of the effect. The fact that we have access to a flip effect jujitsu master means not only do we get to clear Gage's field of a card, but also potentially just reset his draw. And that means that he's actually going to get set back quite a bit. Okay, second pack in. This is looking pretty nice. Warrior returning alive is a consideration if we get enough good warriors this episode. I'm really hoping to nab Exiled Force especially. A Legendary Ocean is actually a card we could play in tandem with Tornado Wall, which we opened in Labyrinth of Nightmare, making it so that Gage can't even damage us. There could be a bit of a water strategy and i'm also happy to see some of these dragons here like cave dragon and dragon dwelling in the cave for a card we'll show off a little bit later fiend skull dragon's nice for when we get to magical scientist in magician's force just like an actual monster with an effect and it's somewhat relevant too so that'll be a nice one to put in the bank there's another one of the all-stars from season one of the progression series ominous fortune telling i gotta admit i'm a bit scared that gage might go like full-on control burn this episode because now he actually has a way to deal damage without having to attack and if he gets multiple copies of this this can get out of hand quickly so definitely something to keep an eye on after the struggle is actually a board wipe which we could play it's not a very good one all monsters on both sides of the field that have been involved in damage calc are destroyed during the end step of this turn so it is weird but if we really want to play more board wipes we absolutely could oh shit there's a rota gage had rota last time and so the fact that we get access to it this time around is pretty good i mean warriors are going to be relevant for a very long time in the game if we can just get an exiled for that would be amazing. Possess Dark Soul is somewhat worth discussing because we can sack it to actually take control of all face up level three or lower monsters our opponent controls. So if Gage has Dream Clown, we can summon this, sack it, take the Dream Clown, switch its position and pop one of his monsters if he has two. So that's a way to sort of like deal with the clown, especially if Gage is putting up a bunch of walls. All right, pack number one, LOD. Fatal Abacus, man. Never good at math. I'm still not going to be able to do it. I don't think this card's any good either, dude. Ooh, first big rare, Bottomless Trapple. We were just talking about how good it is without priority existing in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. This is a guaranteed removal of a dude. Pretty strong. Good pickup. I think I only ended up getting one last season. Three packs in with the first one in. I'm feeling good. Oh, a second one too. That's not bad. I've been just going through most of the pulls, man. I haven't gotten to hollow yet, I don't think. But um, hey, at least we're getting good rares, right? Can't complain about that. The third bottom was two, right back to back. All right, I pretty much got what I needed. Don't think I'm gonna mulligan this set. <gasps> oh shit, Yada Garasu, bro. Oh my god, dude. Yada's beautiful, bro. I didn't have the opportunity to play with Yada last season. Could you imagine if we paired that with Chaos Emperor Dragon? Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Yada in the collection is pretty slick. I'm not gonna lie, I probably would prefer the Injection Fairy Lily. I don't know how useful Yada's gonna be. We'll find out. Maybe we can get a Yada lock pulled off. That'd be pretty 
insane. Royal Up, got the one for the collection. I don't mind to pull the other two because it's not gonna be at three for long. Oh my God, last turn too, bro. All the degenerate band cards coming in. Last turn's a very confusing one to read. On paper, it doesn't make too much sense, but the reason it works is because there's an OTK with it. If I were to summon Jalgen the Spiritualist off of last turn, I summon first and that's the ruling on last turn. So if I summon Jalgen, Alex wouldn't get the chance to summon a monster at the end of the turn well Jalgen's gonna be the only dude remaining on the board so I win the duel. Life points gotta be a thousand or less though, which is a little bit hard to crack without the most specific deck building to be able to put yourself at that threshold. However, I mean, if you're playing a deck that is based around it, you're almost gonna pull it off 100% of the time. That's why last turn is banned. Silly looking card. I think we do have a couple Jalgens. It's in the collection. It's a possibility. I don't know if I can find a list that's gonna be able to make that threshold happen, but hey, it is now a possibility. Let's find out. Maybe we can do something with it. That'd be cool. God, that Fiend Comedian artwork, man. It, it is some nightmare fuel bro awful that's a really good super rare uh, this actually isn't too bad of an opening dude lod's treating me well exiled force is a really solid warrior to grab definitely one of the better toolbox warrior monsters just being able to pop anything on the board ouch like jinzo and everything that might be a little bit more difficult i'll take it exiled force you nice you nice oh wow that's a secret rare injection fairy lily that's so good now this card is obviously very high risk high reward right i mean we can get a 3400 attacker at the cost of 2000 life points it does work under gravity bind though so you know what Maybe we have to play it. I want to take a moment to quickly discuss Throwstone Unit because it's relevant specifically because of the deck Gage has been playing lately. So this card, you tribute a warrior type monster on the field to destroy a face-up monster on the field whose defense is equal to or less than the attack of this card. So this is a 900 attack card. You can tribute itself because it is a warrior. Now the thing is, Dream Clown has exactly 900 defense. So we could actually use this as a pseudo exiled force for Dream Clown exactly. So we're able to take care of it and gauge really doesn't have much of an answer to this it's also just a 2k defender as well so at the very least if like it's not being threatened we could just have it sit out wow that's a sick super rare spear dragon i wish it was exiled force i think that'd be a little bit better for the long game but it's a very strong dragon to have so i will take it and here's the card i've been looking for 10 packs in stamping destruction this is arguably the best shot at spell and trap removal we've had all season that doesn't count like the actual good cards like mst and like giant true nade, right? If you control a dragon, target a spell or trap on the field, destroy that target, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to its controller. So the downside is that you actually have to play dragons, but the good side is that you can actually play MST, so that's pretty good. Bottomless is a nice rare. We haven't seen any of those yet, and I was really hoping to see it. We also haven't seen Royal Oppression, which is a card that I'm really hoping we can pull. Bottomless, I want multiple copies of, though, because Oppression will eventually get banned. Bottomless will probably stay at, like, two to three for a majority of the series, so the more of this we can pull, the better. There's the Oppression! Okay, we got that under lock now. And again, we only need one of this card because it's going to get hit eventually. So just one of it for now is fine. More of it will be useful, but this is a very annoying card. I'm really hoping Gage doesn't pull this at all. Second bottomless is also very nice. Happy to see it. If we can get one more bottomless, I'm actually going to feel pretty good about this episode. Yamada. Hey, that's another spirit monster. That's about as much as I'll say about it. Yamada Dragon's really slick. Uh, it's one where if it does battle damage, you can uh, draw until you have five cards in your hand. That's a lot of cards. Uh, however, it's a spirit monster and requires two trips kind of hefty to be able to actually put it on the board. All right, coming up on the last few packs here. Can I get anything large in the close? I'm satisfied, man. I got the three bottomless trapple. I actually think I ended up getting like four of them. I got three royal oppression to be able to <laughs> abuse when it's uh, going to be useful, I guess. And then... um See if we get anything in the close here. All together, not too bad, man. A couple of decent hauls. Yada's pretty fun, too. Lesser demon. All right, man. I'm pleased with it, dude. <laughs> I am absolutely not going to mulligan. I don't think this set is that great either. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it in the collection. Let's get the build. Let's see what we can make today. All right, you guys. Only a few packs left. I got to be honest. This has been a very above average Legacy of Darkness pull. Uh, there's not like many crazy things like in the high rarity slot like there have been in the previous five sets, but this set's still pretty decent. Let's see if we can end on anything good here. Uh, nothing too crazy in that pack. I would really like to see Exiled Force. I feel like that's the one thing I'm really missing at this point. There's also stuff like Twin-Headed Behemoth and Aeronite Parshath, which are strong, but like not the end of the world, especially if he's on control. There's the fucking Exiled Force. Let's fucking go. We have the Rota to pair with it at well. Oh my God, that is such a great hit in the last two packs here. I'm feeling really good about this episode, you guys. Last pack. Let's end on a big one. Let's see just, I don't know, just something good, something useful. 
That was probably not very useful. Is there anything good in that pack? Uh, not really. Okay, uh, we pretty much got everything we could have wanted and more out of this, so I'm feeling really hyped about this, you guys. Simo coming in at 2-0. Let's get to deck building. I really, really hate to queue up a similar deck here for the progression series, but it just seems that this just keeps on getting better and better every episode. Back on Clown Control again, LOD just doesn't shake up enough for me to really try anything else. We decided to plug in the Yadagorasu, paired with a card like Confiscation, as well as just being able to manage the board with Dream Clown, Crass Clown, and such. If we can dump Alex out of cards in his hand, lock him out of draws, we win the game. This deck has a pretty good job of like stalling out and then just being able to control the board. Cards like Bottomless Trapple should be able to remove bigger threats from it. Uh, if I can just continue to outvalue Alex, you know, making sure I get the pluses off a of Dream Clown, making sure I get those pluses off a of Crash Down, keeping things in loop. Uh, after I control the board enough and I can lock Alex out of potential draws at some point in the game, Alex just will not find his way to an out. Only thing I'm a little bit skeptical about is the three Bottomless. We ended up pulling four of them, but I want to see how it does this episode. If Alex is still on his beater strategy, just dudes bottomless is going to be incredible here uh, and gravity bind alex was kind of already on the situation of playing things under level four uh to play around gravity bind myself i decided to decide it last episode so i'm hoping since i did that last episode and he normally researches the last episode to get ideas he might think i'm still not going to be on gravity bind but i am going to main deck it again just in case he wants to go back on big beefy dude strat i decided to put in the last turn in the uh in the side deck here i don't have any jaugen so i don't have the actual just ftk with it but uh, it might be fun uh, i decided to have the blue eyes in here too so so, I mean, 3,000 is virtually impossible for Alex to get rid of if I'm dumping his entire hand and such. So, um, maybe just for a gimmicky, if we're up a game, I might throw it in there just for funsies. Uh, and then, of course, the rest of the side deck is just back row removal, the prohibs, and then Taylor the Fickle is still in there. He's been playing a lot of equip cards recently, uh, and I am playing them too. So, maybe at some point, this might be good. I don't know, man. The side deck still doesn't need a lot of work because it's just not that relevant yet. I'm feeling okay about this, though. I still feel like Alex doesn't have any back row removal to be able to deal with a lot of these floodgates. Uh, hopefully, we see things like Dark Door, Vengeful, Bog Spirit, and Gravity Bind this episode. Episode and not just get chain burned out as last episode. So Alex, I'm curious if you can beat this deck again. Let's find out, bro. So I've got to admit, Gage has me in a bit of a pickle here because I actually have the cards to be able to make like the legendary ocean tornado wall lock, which is kind of sick. But the problem is if Gage is playing like burn with like ominous fortune telling and like chain energy and like all this stuff, it doesn't matter if he can't attack me. He's just going to burn me through effect damage instead of battle damage. And so I feel like I'm almost forced to go down this dragon route here simply because stamping destruction is basically MST. And so this is the deck we're bringing to today's duel. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I didn't feel that great last time and we won. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. First up, we have our cyber jar as well as our two dream clowns. Exiled force is in the main deck paired with our reinforcement of the army. This is sick. Rona can also search dream clown because it's a warrior. So that's kind of cool if we don't want to go for exiled, although I think we'll be holding it for that. Then we have our flying kamakiris. They are back in the main deck because a lot of our dragons, actually all of our dragons are in fact win. The first of which is Grey Wing. Now, Grey Wing sucks. The problem is, and I'm going to go ahead and show what the problem here is. So if we go ahead and just try to filter by monsters uh, here on Dueling Book, if we go Dragon and level four at the highest, and let's go ahead and sort by uh, release date here, you will be able to see that all of the dragons in the game up until this point end like right here at Twin Headed Behemoth. And unfortunately, we didn't get Twin Headed Behemoth, so we can't play it. Otherwise, I would 100% because it's a level three 1500. But these these like 11 monsters are like it. This is like all we have at level four lower dragons. So it's slim pickings, right? Now, the alternative here is troop dragon, which is actually kind of decent because if it's killed by battle and sent to grade, you just special another one from deck. So it is a recruiter in a way, but the stats on this card are really shitty. Gray wing is a level three, so it can actually hit under gravity bind similar to troop dragon. It's 1300 attack, so it can actually contest a dream clown. And as its effect, you can discard a card and it can make two attacks, which isn't that great, but this deck can't really do a ton of damage at once. There are some little synergies though, like pitching Jinzo for premature burial. So that's kind of sick. If we can pull that off, that's a lot of damage very quickly. We can also get off flying Kamakiri, which is important. So unfortunately, this is like the next best dragon I could find. So that's what we're playing. Again, troop dragon may be better, but it's really hard to say. There's also something in the side deck that synergizes better with this. We have the Jinzo, the three tomato, one Sangen. Sangen is now limited courtesy of the May 2003 list that we're following. Spear dragon was a very nice pull for our deck. It's a dragon with 1900 and it can just do piercing. So it can do a ton of damage out of nowhere. It does go to defense, but we can switch it back on the following turn. It's not like goblin attack force where you have to wait a full turn cycle. And then three dragon dwelling in the cave. So again, similar to like troop dragon, this is like another one of like the best worst dragon monsters we have. The theory here is that this is more likely to survive because although troop dragon can constantly float into more copies, this thing has 2000 defense. Everything engages deck could probably kill troop dragon. Not many things can kill a 2k defender. And so it is a vanilla 
Priscilla, but we do need dragons and also the 1300 attack stat is relevant. We'll talk about that later. That's it for the monsters though. For the spells, Cold Wave is still in here. I don't really know why. I might side this out, but it just depends on what Gage's back row looks like this time. Duo, Double Fisher, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, the one reinforcement of the army, Spiritualism, and the three Stamping Destruction. I'm so happy we pulled these because otherwise we'd be in a lot of trouble, but it's weird, right? Like if Gage goes Clown Control or like just Control Burn, like I need actual ways to destroy these cards. Otherwise we just lose the game immediately. So that's why we went this route. And then for the traps, Double Bottomless. Gage isn't playing a ton of big monsters, but he was on Kaiku. He was on Dark Elf, I think. Uh, I think he's still playing like a reasonable amount of like big monsters. So Bottomless is pretty good. Fairy Box is in here because just so we can protect our monsters. This won us the game last time. So honestly, that's why it's still in here. Imperial Order, Magic Drain, Triple Michizura, a Robin Goblin. Royal Oppression is the only good really against like Monster Reborn and Premature Burial, but that basically just means it's another copy of Imperial Order. So honestly, I'll take it. And then one newly acquired Torrential Tribute, courtesy of the Wheel. Then for the side deck, we need to have like a plan in case like Gage is going like super aggro. But what I'm thinking is because Gage knows that last episode I was preferred for Gravity Bind, he may think that I'm not going going to play a deck that's going to care about Gravity Bind because he's going to go full aggro. But then he might think that I think that. So I'm trying to like one up his thinking here. So we need a plan to get out of this in case he's not playing back row and he goes like full aggro. So we have four star Ladybug of Doom because most of the best beaters are level four and this is removal. Three Mysterious Guard for the same reason. This isn't like technically removal, but it's more ways to just get monsters off the field. Two Tornado Bird for if he's on the control strat, we can side these in so we have more ways to deal with spells and traps. I had a 15th slot, so I just put no in here. This can actually hit like bottomless, which is pretty good. So I figured just having this is fine. Prohibition is also for the slower matchups like the control or the stall burn match. That way we can call out some key cards so we can't play them. Two copies of burst breath. Now this is actually a board wipe in dragons. So what you can do is you tribute a dragon destroy all face up monsters on the field whose defense is less than or equal to the attack of the tributed monster. This is another reason why I like gray wing over something like troop dragon because troop dragon only has 700 attack where gray wing is 13. So if we sack off gray wing, for burst breath, everything with 1300 or less defense is going to get killed. That's going to kill recruiters, which is very important. That's going to kill Dream Clown, which I mean, Troop Dragon couldn't even kill Dream Clown under burst breath, which is pretty pathetic. And so I like having this as just more ways to remove threats off the field that I don't want to deal with. We might side this in appropriately. And then again, if Gage is on the stall burn shenanigans, we can just bring Solemn Wishes in. I'm not sure if he's going to do it, but I don't really feel like main decking this. It's a very weird situation we find ourselves in, but I feel like playing the Stamping Destruction package actually actually covers a lot of what Gage can throw at us. Even if he goes full aggro, I feel like our deck is actually positioned pretty well to deal with between bottomless Michizuri and like Fairy Box, especially Torrential Tribute now as well. So guys, I can't wait to see what happens, but we are going for that back to back because we need to catch up to Gage and this is the perfect opportunity to do so. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Alex, I was warming up the seat for you, bro. How, how's it feel to be in that winner's circle, dude? I gotta know. I gotta know. I gotta say, buddy, it feels like I'm right back at home, especially <laughs> after season one. So uh, thank you for keeping the seat warm, buddy, because you're not getting back in it anytime uh, soon. God, this feels so good. And boy, did we make the wheel overpowered this season, buddy. <laughs> it how bad it was. It's, it's definitely, we yeah. said chaotic, and oh my God, is it chaotic, dude. Yeah, yeah. don't get cozy there, man, dude. I, I think I'm ready to just reclaim my throne. I'm not going to let chain energy fucking burn me to death again. How so. are you <laughs> feeling about Legacy of Darkness overall? Dude, I don't think this set is that great, man. Uh, there's like the, the secret rares. You look at them from last episode, Jinzo IO, and we have Yada, which I guess longest banned card in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, and Injection Fairy Lily. Those yeah. are okay, but they're nowhere near those level there. And all the other hollows in between, of course, I think you're missing a lot of like the high quality things like your card of safe return and stuff like that. I yeah. feel like LOD was a little bit, uh, it was lacking. What do you think though? I think it's like, okay. I think this is definitely not like your top heavy set. I think like some of the better gems are more like in the middle to like even the lower rarity. It's like probably if we're we're gonna look at like all the sets in total. It's probably like one of the worst we've done so far, but like, it's still like good, right? Like th there's there's objectively much worse sets than like a Secret yes. of Darkness. <laughs> yes, yes, there is. <laughs> It so, definitely is worse. Yeah. So on that note, let's go ahead and get into it. Shout out to Patreon. It is Alucard Squidman. That's a hell of a name. Uh, thank you for the support. I can't wait to see how this one's going to play out. Uh, I'm curious to know the strat that you went down because there's a couple things you could be up to here. Damn. Ooh, okay, good. Damn, damn, damn. All right. You want the die right. roll. That's going to be pretty important here. So. Yes, I will start it off, and the, the extra card's too important in this era. Man. It I is. I'm going to uh, choose to go second. 
Uh, to be fair, though, last time, you know, didn't go so hot for you when you were letting I, me go I know. first. But... I know, but we'll see how it goes today, okay? I'm excited. All right. Well, main phase one. I'm going to take my extra card anyway, buddy. How about yep. that? Uh, cash so in. I'll, yep. I'll cash in. We'll get my pot of greed here. Uh, I don't got too much going on. I think I'm just going to set two back row and a monster and throw it your way. All right. I'm going to draw. All right, sir. So I'm going to cash in on my extra card. <laughs> 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 is that what I sound like? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take my own two here. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I got the move for you. Pass and discard because you're... Yeah, yeah, card. you yeah, you liked that play. Last episode I saw everyone was, clay, like, was praising you on your discard during end phase there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's see here. What do I do? All right, I will start off by just setting a monster and uh i'm gonna activate vengeful bog spirit here we go with the stall shit yeah ah yeah we didn't get to see this last episode i had no. them all in my deck bro but didn't draw a single one so hopefully they put in some work this time around here so now we're dealing we're playing magic bro monsters have summoning sickness gross uh you know i was glad i didn't get to see this last time around so i'm not looking forward to this but all right yeah nothing i can do about that all right i will follow it up with a set card and i will just pass go okay Okay, let's go ahead and draw into a main one of our own. Yikes. That card kind of uh, puts a damper on things. I guess I'll just throw down another one and we'll throw it your way. Cool. I'll draw. Standby phase, main phase. I mean, it, it's doing its job. It slowed you down. That's what I... <laughs> that's what, <laughs> That's what I wanted it to do. So, uh, your move. Go ahead. Great. Thrilling gameplay. I'm sure the audience is going to love to see this one. All right. Main one. Shit. Like, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Uh, go. <laughs> All right. All right, man. I'll, I'll start to be proactive. I'll, I'll, I'll take the bait. I'll tribute my Sangin for the Fiend Mega Cyber here. Okay. Uh, so. I'll trigger Sangin. That is fine. I'm going to bottomless your Fiend New Mega New card. Cyber, New card. Bottomless is going to be fine. That will resolve. Sure. Um, you get your Sangin search though. So not the end of the I one. do. I will pick up. Good old friend coming in, man. You ready? Dream Clown. There he is. It didn't so even like, feel that good bottomlessing Fiend Mega Cyber. No, it doesn't, right? It doesn't even do anything. Um, yeah. Cool. So I uh, already normaled, so I'll just pass. Go ahead, man. All right. Let's go ahead and draw then. Ain one. All right. Uh, I'll set two more. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, man. You're having a blast, bro. I'm going to draw. I'm having a ball, and Vengeful Bog Spirit is not helping. Stand by me. Yep. All right. Let's get cooking. Uh, I will summon the clown. There he is. Is he sticking? He's sticking. Awesome. I'll go battle. Oh, I can't. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I can't, say, but I can't attack. Shit, buddy. Yeah, uh, all right. Well, Dream Cloud, uh, he's just entering the battle phase. He's just taking a look. That's true. You uh, can still enter the battle phase. Yeah, but um, I'll just go main two, and uh, I will set a card of my own. I'll pass. Go ahead. All right. We will draw. Uh, we'll go to main one. All right, buddy. Uh, I am going to... <laughs> I'm going to run out the dragon dwelling in the cave. <laughs> no, he's dwelling, bro. Oh my, he's dwelling. Yeah, okay. He's dwelling. Uh, I'm going to follow that up with a stamping destruction. Hey, yo, the stamping destruction. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're so... going to take out this set. Oh, you're taking out you not the vengeful bog spirit. Bold choice. You might have a second one. You got rid of my bottomless trap. I'll got rid of your bottomless. Oh, sorry. I, you take five. I don't take five. I'm yeah, thinking yeah, this yeah. is like chain energy, apparently. So that's pretty bad. All right. So get rid of that. Uh, you are correct. I have a yeah. second one. So this yeah. time we're going to take out the vengeful bog spirit. <laughs> yep. 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 Big bog spirit. Okay. I'm going to flip my other dragon. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, dude. Dude, you were doing some dwelling recently. I've been okay. doing a lot of dwelling. I'm going to go to battle. I'm going to yeah. hit your clown and I'm going to activate Robin Goblin on attack deck. Oh, bro. Damage calc. <laughs> Oh what do you got? I got the rush recklessly. Oh, you're going to flip up that magic. Do you thing. have the spell? Alex, I feel so bad, bro. I uh -huh. do. Good okay. night, man. <laughs> so there goes my dragon. But there goes your clown. I have no right to take my clown out, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Oh, man. What a chain. How's it feel to go minus a billion to get rid of Dream Cloud? Uh, you're going to be losing another card out of your hand here uh, when I hit I'm you I'm okay with this, dragon. man. Pick wisely. So, you also pitched premature burial, so honestly, I feel pretty good about that, in all honesty. <laughs> pick wisely, bro. All right. We're going to pick this one. Oh. That's a new one. It is a new oh, one. What do we man. Got? You're lucky, bro, because you were about to be out of the game, dude. You was discarded I? the most iconic card in Yu-Gi-Oh's ban list history. Yada? Yada Garasu, wow. bro. Yeah. Yada. Making its appearance in progression. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, second main. I think I'll just set one. Uh, I'll just pass to you, buddy. Go ahead. All right. Game on, Robin Goblin. I'll yep. draw for turn. Stand by main. Yeah, you ain't going to be Robin for long, man. I'm going to normal summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. How about a bottom was for the Kaiku? <laughs> <laughs> you got another one. Oh, my. All right. There goes Kaiku. No problem, though. You're not ripping any more from me. I am going to Swords of Revealing Light. Here. Ah, okay. I was really hoping to, like, say Magic Drain for the Swords. That was the ideal situation. No, but no, unfortunately, no. there was the Rush Recklessly. So, okay. Right, I, fair enough. Fair enough. It doesn't feel like the greatest thing to use it on, but I do feel like I got to <laughs> set up the lock. I am going to reborn out my Dream Clown. Wow. Okay. That's fine. All right, I think I'm pretty solid here. Go ahead, your turn, bro. You had a lot of good stuff I could have ripped out of your hand. Uh, we'll go to main phase one. I guess there's no reason not to fish her off your dream clown, so. Damn, but come on, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I will put the dream clown to defense. Uh, That's not a dream clown, but okay, I'm sorry. The dragon do. dwelling in the cave to defense. That'll be turn one on swords, buddy. Go ahead. All right, man. Uh, that is one turn on swords here. That's correct. I'll draw for turn here. Stand by phase, main phase. Well, uh, we'll take it slow here. Um, um, I will set a card and I will just end my turn. All right, we'll draw. I'll run out a dream clown of my own. How's that sound? Go nice. Ahead. That sounds good. It's the only turn sounds two fair. Turn two on swords. Uh, that is two. I will draw. Tempo. All right. I got mine down first. It's only fair. Sure, Put your that's crown fair. back. So he's going back. Okay. I will follow it up with a set monster and uh, I'll just end. Go ahead. Okay. We'll draw. Uh... This will be turn three on swords coming in. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I guess set one of my own and we'll make those swords expire. All right, they are going away. I will draw for my turn. Stand by phase, main phase. Sure. All right. Dream Clown has 900 defense, right? That's correct. Okay. Um, I will flip summon Witch of the Black Forest. Sure. Uh, I'll go battle phase and I will get a peek at this. Hopefully it's the Dream Clown. It is Cyberjar. Miserable, bro. Oh my God. They get destroyed. At least I get my witch though, right? You do. Yeah. Which is I'm not Separate exactly uh, excited about, but yeah. All right. So, so what do we do? We reveal, we reveal five. Okay. We got the official role and it's turn player. So I have to reveal first. Okay. Okay. So go ahead so. and you go first. One, that's broken. Two, three, four. Back on the gravity bind. Five, figure. it is anybody's. Look at that, dude. That's pretty okay. strong. All right. All right. So um, these all go to hand. Spells traps, right? Yep. And then you and... have a rat and a crass. Okay. Um, I will put the crass in defense, and I'll put the I'll put the rat in defense as well. Okay. Uh, so now it's my turn. I'm just going to mill five here. It's a little bit easier. That what the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. All right. No, well. that ain't fair. Oh, stop. So these Jizzo. two go to my hand. Then I get two tomatoes and an exiled force. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I know you have bottomless gravity bind Fisher. So the problem is if I put any of these in attack, you actually have the ability to Fisher them off. You opted to set. So I guess I can set two. So I'm just going to do that. Wow. Okay, cool. Neat. All right, cool. That wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love Cyberjar? Uh, it's a great that, card. <laughs> that wasn't fun. Oh, man. Um, and now I got to deal with Jinzo. Yep, I, I get to blank your two other cards that you got. Yeah, I have not normal summoned yet, right? No. Uh, you have that. not. You just flip. Oh, you get your witch search now. Mandatory. I, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my yeah. God. Could you imagine if we forgot that? Game state would have been in shambles. What did you set again? You said Tube tomato, tomato Exiled Force. Tomato Tomato Exiled, okay. Didn't want you to see the Exiled Force just yet, but you know, can't control all things with Cyber Jar. Are technically all the monsters face down supposed to be random? I think so. You may shuffle them around so you can special summon monsters face down without the opponent which knowing which monster is which. Okay, okay yeah. So, so do you wanna do you wanna put them back in hand and shuffle? Because now that I know you have exiled, since you know where I set my crass clown as well as my giant rat, I don't Yeah, and you can do the rat. same with yours as well. So we'll just okay. we'll shuffle them up here. Uh we'll just reset them in different places or the same places for all we know uh, i like the symmetry of the three like this we'll and uh yeah so it does potentially matter because your ad here off of which could you know depend on some things you may yeah. have your own exiled force for all i know so yeah okay so we've already gone through the battle phase kind of unfortunate very happy about that i know you are yeah all right we're gonna gamble Alex. no no no. i'm gonna keep this okay so we're gonna pick up an out for next turn here i need okay. out your jinzo so i am gonna grab exiled force got one of your own okay i did get one of my own the targeted removal coming in clutch here yep so i am gonna just keep that in my hand so for all you know uh i will be setting possibly the exiled force i am going to set this monster uh and i'm going to set one two 
three. Could literally be anything, by the way. Yeah, it could uh, be. <laughs> it's not like it's typed in the chat or anything. <laughs> no, uh, not at all. Go ahead, your turn. Yeah, makes sense because of Robin Goblin too that you want to avoid that. Um, and so your sets, it was a giant rat, and what was the other one? Giant rat as well as Crass Clown. Crass Clown was the other. All right. Uh, so we'll go ahead and draw for turn then. Uh, anything in standby? Okay. Peeking through your grave, your witch and your Sangin are gone, which is a bit of a relief. What else would you set? Is the question. I know you, there's no way you're setting Exile Force. Like, yeah, you're not that dumb. Man, Crass Clown be out here with 1,400 defense, huh? That's he do, he be, he be he cheeked up for no reason. He's a bit, he's a bit thick, I'll be honest. He's a bit thick. What else would you set? I feel like that's like all of your good stuff. I think you only have two Crass Clowns. It's gotta be like something I just like haven't seen yet. Now you've got your Exiled Force, Fisher lying in wait. Oh God, Rat's also fourteen fifty too. Is, uh, are you like Google? Are you Googling no, every monster I, I on the just, field I, right no, now? I just know that like, <laughs> from just from all the like playing old series. I just know Rat has like the biggest defense out of all of them. I mean, given like some of the cards, I sort of feel like I do it this way. So I'm going to sack a tomato for Jinzo. Expected. Yep. Yeah, it's not a surprise. Like, I mean, I, there's not much I can do about this. I know you have Crass, and I know you have Rat. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to flip the Exiled Force. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Battle. Okay. I'm going to go Force into this one. You're smart. I really like that. Okay, yeah. That you see is what I'm crass doing? Clown. Yeah, you're, you're Yeah, okay. So we're okay. going to take four here, which is fine. Yep. I'm going to send Jinzo into the Crass. Yep. Second main, Sack Exiled to pop the other one that I know is your Rat. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna lose Jinzo, which sucks, but there's not really much I can do about it. So I will just set myself uh, a card and I will throw it your way. Okay. I know the other card is tomato, right? You do yeah. know the other card is tomato, correct. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to draw. Stand by main. I mean, this is a pretty big push on my end. I'll play the fissure, get run into, uh, by IO probably. When uh, you're at Jinzo up. That <laughs> is I know fine. it's fine. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. And then I'm going to summon Exiled Force. Sure. I'm going to Exiled Force. I'll pop your tomato. Fine. I'm going to Michi Zure, your other monster. <laughs> Come on, man. No. It's tomato. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So we Jeez. did play that correctly. Holy shit. Wow. I'll set a card and I'll just end my turn then. Go ahead. All right. We'll draw. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, main one. Okay. So I know Fisher was in hand. So I know you have Bottomless Gravity Bind in the back row and you have two other cards that I do not know about. Uh, uh, you know I have Goblin Ups. So you probably would have set anything no matter what. Uh, I will just run out Dream Clown. Yeah, Dream Clown's fine. Hit for 12. Yep, 12 is Goes fine. under Gravity Bind, goes under Bottomless. No complaints. Uh, second main, I guess I will... I guess I'll set... Now nah, I'll start to you. Go ahead. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by phase, main phase. It's not really what I want to see. Um, I will set a card, and I'll just end my turn. Go ahead. Okay, I will draw... That's not bad. Main one... I'm going to run out Mystic Tomato. Okay, board's getting a little scary. Battle hit for Dream Clown. Yeah, I'll take Dream Clown. And, and then, then I imagine after, you're gonna Gravity Bind Yeah, this. I'm gonna Gravity Bind here, yeah. Yeah, makes sense, okay. Uh, so now I know where that is. Uh, second main, I think I'm chilling. over to you. I'll drop, stay in my main. I'll activate space on your other face down. Was a cold wave. All right, well, it's gone now. I will set a card and I will end. Go ahead. All right. I will draw for turn. Hilarious. Uh, I'll go to main phase one here. Now you have bottomless. You have three other back row. I have no idea what the hell you have. That's a lot. And again, you would just said anything because of Robin Goblin. So like, you just don't want to lose cards. I highly doubt this is going to work, but I feel like I have to try. I'm going to normal summon dragon dwelling in the cave. Okay. I'm going to stamping destruction your gravity bind. Oh, you're really just going all in. Okay. You better have it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. All right, hit for 12. Let's see here. I will activate Mirror Wall. I figured you were going to have this or something. Okay, so everything's going to get halved. So uh, you're going to take six from this one. Yep. You're going to take 650 potentially here. Yep. And you're going to take seven from the tomato. Second main, I will throw it to you, buddy. Draw, standby. I cannot pay for the mirror wall, so it's going to go. And I'm going to admit defeat. I didn't draw oh, a monster. Oh, my man. God. What a game one, Let's dude. Go. Holy smokes. Let's go.
even passing the Jinzo and stalling for that many turns, dude, you still toppled me, bro. Come on, man. Stamping that was a destruction. You were making fun of my dragons. I'm it dwelling, was? buddy. I'm yeah. dwelling. Man, now you know the struggle of a uh, bad spell or trap removal you got to play, right? Yep. I think I played stamping back in the day, too, because that was all I had. Well, yep. It worked a little bit better for you, I think, but um, I still think I'm going to opt to go second. I, I still think I have the upper hand. Hopefully, I can see a monster off the top this time, so good luck, bud. All right, good luck to you as well. See if we can get an opening that was just about as good as last time. Eh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I'll start with duo. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Hey, I'm my... good. Come on. The second one closest to your deck that I cannot click. I don't, I don't, I think it doesn't want you to click that one. <laughs> like, that's the one I want to hit, buddy. No. Oh my God. That's literally the best card in my hand. Excellent. <sighs> what is it? Oh, let's <laughs> fucking go. All right, buddy. You still have to discard here. So I know. Oh, oh. All right. I guess for my discard, I'll pitch Nobleman of Extermination. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, it sucks. Like I want to hold duo after you've like played a few cards, but like, I know you have comfy now. So like, I can't do that. Cause otherwise you'll just rip duo out of my hand, like as fast as humanly possible. I'll just set a pair, uh, in the back and one in the front and over to you. I'll draw stand by main. All right. Well, let's flood up. I will activate vengeful bog spirit. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. <laughs> I'll set a card and I'll just pass. Okay. Uh, I will draw, go to main phase one. So to clarify, even if a monster's already on the field and I flip it up, it still can't I, attack yeah. because it's not considered a summon. Yes. yes. Well, no, it's a flip summon. I mean, it's a, I'm, that's what I meant. Yeah. It's a yeah. flip summon. So that's the first summon. It being set does not count it being summoned. Okay. No, it does not. Uh, yeah. I wish. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, I'll flip up my flying Kamakiri number one. I'll set okay. one and just throw it to you. Okay. I will draw. Man, how do magic players do it, buddy? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I will um, set a card and I'll just end my turn. Okay. Uh, sounds good to me. I'll draw. Head on to main one. Uh, I guess I'll try to hit. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, second main. Oh, thank God. Okay. No Robin Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> Not this time. Not this time. Uh, I'll just set... Mm, this one's weird. I, I'm thinking if I actually want to summon this that I just set because you have Bog Spirit. I'll actually normal it. Uh, okay. It is my Mystic Tomato. Okay. And I'll just pass to you. All right, I'll draw. I will just set a card and then I will activate the Dark Door. Here we go. So yes, you can only, only attack one, one monster, monster per turn. turn. All right. I will just end my turn. Go ahead. We'll draw. Let's go to main one. Both my monsters can attack for all the good that's going to do. Just flooding up. Well, I guess I'll try. Uh, let's hit. Thanks. It's Sangin. Figured. All right. Uh, so you get your search. I will trigger my Sangin. That's going to be actually a pretty big pick if that resolves. I will pick up a four-star Ladybug of Doom. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I cannot attack due to your dark door. So second main, I'm just throwing it to you. All right. I'll drop. Stand my main. Yep. Literally anything. <laughs> your move. All right. Uh, we'll draw. Gross. Any way I can avoid this from happening? Probably not. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen, so I'll go to battle. Let's just get it over with. Let's just hit with Tomato. Fair enough. All right, so it is the uh, four-star Ladybug. Kill all my four stars. Unfortunate, but uh, honestly, not really much else I could do about it. I'll go to second main. I will normal summon Grey Wing and pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh my god, the ultimate play around Dark Door. It is. It <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right i will draw for turn yeah I, 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 I never thought that this would actually come up but this is pretty <laughs> sick actually that's insane <laughs> and um, it plays under gravity bind which is cool it too. does all right i am going to let's see here <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> <laughs> i have to discard cards to do it but it's it works i'm going to normal summon sangin sure i'll just end my turn go ahead okay so, wow, you scared of the gray wing, buddy? <laughs> I'm all petrified of it, bro. All right, we'll draw. I'll go to main one. So I could imagine here this is rush recklessly set up. It's the only thing I can think of. Anything I can do about it. I'll just pass. Okay, deal. I will draw. Stand by main. I'm going to activate United We Stand on the Sangin. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go battle, and I'll poke into your gray wing and Sangin. On attack deck, got fairy box fun all right well let's do it okay it's so, always shreds buddy yep let's see it let's see it Fox. yes all right cool all right 
Uh, so Grey Wing will go down 500 from me. Uh, I will Michizuri the Sangen here. Okay, um, that's gonna be fine. And it's not great, but yeah. United we stand. He's a little bit too big. Yeah, I get your Sangen. All right, off of the Sangen, I will pick up a. Seems a little too good. I'm gonna pick up the Dream Clown. Sure. Okay, I'll go main phase two. I will normal summon out the Dream Clown. Okay. And uh, I will pass. Go ahead. Okay, we'll draw. Oh, and I'm sorry. I take 500 for this fairy box. I don't want to forget that. Oh, yeah, you forgot to uh, pay for the box? Yeah, I, I do have to pay I, for the box. I know, I have to remind you. <laughs> yeah. It's been so long since we've, like, actually used this card for more than, like, a turn. I'm going to activate Premature Burial, targeting my Grey Wing. I will allow it. Bring out the Grey Wing. I'm going to Stamping Destruction this set. I am, uh, I gotta keep that. I am, I'm gonna flip Imperial Order. Whoa! Yeah, I got one too, buddy. Yeah, you you're not the only one. You do have one as well. Okay, really wanted to save that. All right, so this goes, does, how does this work with Premature Burial? Uh, it sticks around. So it's only when Premat is destroyed that the card leaves, I think. Okay. Wanted to keep that. What then? It's got to be Mirror Wall? What else would you want to keep? This is interesting, buddy. This is interesting. You know what? If I think the read is Mirror Wall, I actually just don't even think I attack. I think I just pass. Yeah, understandable. I will draw for turn. Standby phase. Let me think about that. I, uh... Yep, it is optional in our <laughs> format. I can't believe this is the first time I get to think if I want to keep it or not. <laughs> IO's been doing me pretty good. Uh, but I think, I think if you made that play, it only makes sense if you have another stamping destruction in hand. Like, you have to. Regardless, you're going to lose your gray wing. So I'm going to get you down a card here. I am going to let the IO go. Okay, sure. I will go to my main one. Uh, I will dream clown to defense, and I'll pop the gray wing. I will set one and set two, and I will just pass. Go ahead. More back row. All right, I'll draw. Pay for fairy box. I will do that. I've got a dream clown of my own. Yeah, he's he's cool. He's pretty neat. And I think I will just throw it over to you, buddy. All right. Can't attack on the turn you summon. So standby phase, main phase. All right. Well, I'll throw the dream clown and attack. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna activate space typhoon on fairy box. Sure. I'll go battle phase and then I'll uh bump clowns. Anything damage step? No. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> okay. We're okay. Like, clowns. Oh man, you got me scared there for. A all right, I'll go main two. I'm going to summon my own Kaiku, and I'm just going to pass. I'll bottom was the Kaiku. Yeah, come on, man. Cut me a break, bro. You always got the out. All right. <laughs> we'll draw. Oh, I mean, that one's fun, but uh, particularly good. All right, main one for me. We are uh, significantly down on cards here. I saw bottom was this from you last round as well, so I need to be mindful of that. I'll just set, and I... I'll just throw it to you. Go ahead. Okay, I'll draw. Am I main? I like your play so much, Alex. I'm gonna do it too. Go ahead. Excellent. I'll draw. Go to main one. And I guess I will keep with the theme. I'll set and pass. <laughs> nice. I like it. I'll go stand by main. All good. I'll flip Crash Clown and I'll bounce the one you just set. Sure. Cool. I will summon Dark Elf. Okay. And I will end my turn. Go ahead. Dark Elf is pretty big. I will draw. This is interesting. I'm going to run out Mystic Tomato. Okay. And I'm going to pass. Okay. Uh, I will draw. Stand by me. Put the Clown in defense. Makes sense. I'll go battle, and I'll go Dark Elf into your face down. I'll pay the 8, thousand. Attack. It is another dragon dwelling in the cave. All right, so they bonk. Main two, I will just set a card, and I will end. Go ahead. Okay. We'll draw. That might be what I wanted. Yeah, this clown's putting on some pressure here. Uh, I'm going to run out Exiled Force. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'm going to sack it to kill the clown. That's fine. I'm going to put Tomato to defense. I don't know why oh, he's doing He's doing that. tricks. Huh? I know. <laughs> and I think that'll do it for me. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. I guess it's a pretty good one. I will... All right, you have to have exactly the one card that wins you this. All right, I'm going to normal summon Dream Clown. Yikes. Yep. I'm just going to pass. Okay, that's a bit rough. I'll draw. No, no Jinzo. If <laughs> there's any justice in the world, bro, you want to have Jinjo. I'm going to put Tomato to attack. Okay. Show me the gravity bind. It's not gravity bind. Um, You did have a correct read a long time ago. It was Mirror Wall. Was Mirror Wall. Okay. Uh, I wanted to get that out of you now rather than later. Okay, so I get halved. So I got down to five. Or I take five, excuse me, because I'm at seven. Do you get to
get to trigger tomato, but unfortunately, I will not be using the effect, or excuse me, I will not be attacking with whatever the tomato grabs. And I lied. I'm not getting anything with tomato. Uh, okay. Why? You, you, no targets? No! Wait, what happened to Sagan? What about Yikes. all those guys? Is he in your hand? Oh, I feel so bad. That's a bit rough. That's very rough. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I, in main two, set one and throw it to you. Sure. I will draw. Standby phase. Uh, I'm going to pay for the mirror wall. I'm not going to pay for the mirror wall. I'm going to let it go. Okay. Uh, main phase one, I am going to activate Fissure on your dude. Yeah, sure. Dream Clown. Sangen was the hit here. I so. knew you had it somewhere, but... <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. It's a little bit late. Um, I think I need Cyber Jar here. <laughs> yep. Uh, battle phase two. Take the two, you take the one. Yep. Go. We'll draw. Main one. Set a card. Could be anything. Literally anything, bro. And I will set uh, a back row. Go ahead. Okay, cool. I'll draw. Standby phase, main phase. Man, these have been some games. Oh, my God. They've, dude, this is only game two, too, bro. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. Um. All right. Well, I'm going to go mm, fucking cyber jar. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I'm very grateful for your floodgates right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, I am going to go battle phase, and I'll... Yeah. Well, I, let me put this clown on attack, and I'll poke into your jar. Okay, sure. So jar is going to trigger here. Okay. Everything gets nuked. Yep. yep. You're All up right. first, buddy. See what you got. All right. Mill five. Oh, Just okay. a tomato. Okay. Yeah. Auto right. greed's good, though. Tomato, I'll drop it in attack, and then okay. I'll get all of these to hand, Okay. So it's gravity, pot, and what was the other one? E gravity, pot, yada, and rush recklessly. Rush. Okay. Uh, pot's just going to immediately not matter here in a moment. Uh, my turn to mill five. Jinjo. All right. Thank God I hit a monster. <laughs> okay. So these are all going to go to my hand. And then... What do I want to do with this comic here is the question. What were the cards again? I'm sorry. It is uh, Rhoda, Burst Breath, Stamping Destruction, Jinzo. I think I actually want to set the comic here. Uh, yeah, I want to set the comic here. Okay, sure. Oh, wait, you can't attack anyway, actually. Um, I can't. No, Dark Door, yeah. Can't attack anyway. You can attack because you summoned the tomato this turn, too. So yeah, it's like yeah, double, yeah. <laughs> double oof. Um, yeah, I'll leave it set. You might have like a fissure or something. You've used okay. one. Yeah, okay. So okay. you can proceed. All right, well, like you said, I'm not going to be there for long. I'm going to greed. Got the IO. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> yeah, never gets old. All right. Oop, nope, can't do that. And you got Jinzo. Well, I mean, they kind of contradict each other. So, like, <laughs> I also don't have that much life to be paying here. So that's yeah. not working in my favor exactly. I'm going to normal summon Yada Garage. <laughs> <laughs> This is the worst card with Vengeful Bog Spirit. Yeah, I know, right? It's pretty bad. Um, oh my god, that's fine. I will, uh, I'll go to my end phase, and I'll activate Riata Garasu. Sure, Riata goes back. back. Hilarious. All right, go ahead, your turn. Okay, uh, so I will draw. All right, so standby phase. As much as I love this IO, I think I probably have to let it go, because paying 700 right now is not the best, so it's going to go. I'll head to main one. This is tricky. I think the move here is I'm going to set one, and then I'm going to okay. set one, two, three back row, and I'm going to send it your way. Okay, okay. All right. Difficult board state we got. The fun going resumes. The fun resumes. I'm going to drop standby phase, main phase. Sure. I'm going to summon... I'm going to run straight into bottomless with this. I'm going to summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Kaiku is fine. Okay. I'm going to activate Swords of Revealing Light. Yuck. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, that's very funny. No response here. So I'm going to flip my Tornado Bird and my Flying Kamakiri. All right, cool. Tornado Bird. Yeah. Would you like to trigger your I'm just going to bounce bird? your two sets. The two sets? Yeah. Okay. No sweat. Really hoping you didn't have any way to flip that before my turn. It's a good thing I did. I'm going to set one, and I'm going to set two. And 
I'll go battle phase, and I'll poke with tomato into your bird. That's fine. So bird will go down. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll just go main two, and I will end. Go ahead. Okay. We'll draw. Oh, that's pretty good, I suppose. Uh, okay. I will just set one, throw it to you. Okay. And one on swords. I will. Yep, that's one on swords. I will draw. Stand by me. Yep. I'll go battle. Sure. Poke into the Kamakiri with Kaiku. Kamakiri down. Trigger the effect. Yep. With Kamakiri, I'm going to grab a dragon dwelling in the cave. Yep. I will go main two. I will set a card and I'll just end. That's one and passes. Uh, sure. I'll draw. And by main. The set's probably could be four star, could be another crass, both of which aren't super ideal. For me here he's got four in hand too uh-huh bro you have five in hand man yeah <laughs> it doesn't that's i know one of them's yada unless you literally just set yada right now i think i just throw my guy to defense here and i think i set one and let's just go to turn two on swords all right two on swords i'll draw and my phase main phase yep i'll flip crass clown I'll bounce your face down. Um, bouncing the face down. Yeah, sure. I will go battle. Sure. I'll declare on your dragon dwelling. Thinking. I know you have rushed recklessly from the cyber jar, so that's probably what this is. Uh, so I have to do this on attack deck. I'll activate burst breath. Whose defense is less than, uh, less than, e less than or equal to the attack attributed. Correct. So okay. this will kill anything with 1300 or less defense or uh, yeah. yes, defense. So your Kaiku and tomato both die. Yep. All right. Main two. I will just pass. Go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You did on attack deck. You're good. I did on attack deck. Yep. All right. We'll draw Go to main one. <sighs> we're, we're getting thin on cards here, buddy. <laughs> it's not looking good, man. Oh man. This is the last turn of swords. I will set. And I will set, and I will throw it to you. Okay, cool. I will draw. Stand by phase, main phase. Yep. I'll throw this in defense. Makes sense. I will set, and go ahead. Okay. So, uh, swords is expired, by the way. Oh, it is, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you like to do anything else, then? Um, well, now you bring it up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I figure you might want to set another card. You know what? Nah, I'm good. Okay. Just want to make sure. I will draw. Head on over to main one here. This is like the tightest game we've played yet, bro. It's, I swear. Yeah, this is <laughs> like, on even is deck insane. counts. Like, it's not like anybody can be like, all right, deck out's a strat now. Right, right. Yeah, there's a lot going on too. I'm going to Fisher your crass. Okay, I'm going to activate Magic Drain. There's like no way this resolves. You have You're to have You're on this too, huh? Uh, you are correct. There's no way this resolves. I'm going to pitch Spiritualism. Cool. Interesting one. Yeah, all right. That's fine. Uh, so this dies. It does. I'm going to Normal Dream Clown. Okay. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay, I don't know what this is, right? You do not know what that is, no. Okay, all right. I am going to draw for turn. Standby phase, main phase. This exact game is why I'm so happy I banned True Nate. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude, it would have been over by now. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's kind of spicy. All right, I'm going to activate Confiscation. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. See ya. Yeah, we knew that wasn't coming. All right, jinzo has gone. Just wanted one opportunity. All right, I'm going to activate Fissure. Yeah, Dream Clown gone. I believe that's also your second Fissure. It is. Okay. What was your other card? It was Stamping Destruction and Spear Dragon. In hand, yes. Can I read Spear Dragon? I I, I already knew what I was pitching, but I need to know what that card is. It's a, it's a 1900 Piercer that's like Goblin Attack Force, um, but it doesn't wait a full turn to change back to attack. It can just change back on the next turn. Okay. Big thing is it dies to bottomless. So It does. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> okay <laughs> watch it not even be bottomless I <laughs> outplayed all right i'll just uh i'll set another card and um i will just uh i'll just pass go ahead all right we will draw usually that card is very good, but I don't know on this board state if it's good. <laughs> oh, 
No. Wow. That's tough. I got to start thinking like what you have left in deck. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out too, bro. I honestly, oh. I, it's like I'm trying to think what you have and I don't think you have much left. I think you used all your power cards, almost all your back row removal. Like I don't have to worry about this burst breath because I don't think you have any more dragons unless you're playing poopy ones. I mean, you know about spear dragon. I know. I know the spear dragon, <laughs> but I've, al I've already crossed it off the list mentally. Yeah, okay, so we're fair. good. Okay. I think you're out of dreams and crasses because I think you only had two of each. Uh, your dark elf is gone. I think you only had one of that. Your kite are both gone. One's banished, one's engraved. Uh, it seems like witch is like mainly the thing you still have left in deck. Could be another mystic tomato as well. I think you have at least one more tomato. I think you have two. Maybe you only have one. I actually don't know. I'm gonna hate myself for this. I'm in a pot of greed. <laughs> yeah, dig deeper, man. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. I know you have gravity bind. Presumably you have a bottomless. I'm just going to set a card and I will throw it your way. All right, deal. I'll draw. <clears throat> Stand by main. All right, I'm going to flip up witch. Oh, that's nice. Flip summon of witch is fine. All right, I'm going to set a monster. I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. Another monster set. This is never going to end, Gage. This is never going to end. I'll draw. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. <laughs> God. Okay. All right, uh, for my main one, I will set one and I will set one. Throw it to you. I'll load it up. All right, I'll draw. Standby phase, main phase. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to attempt to leave the main phase. Feel free to leave the main phase. All right, I've left it. And I'm going to go battle. I'm going to poke with my one battle this turn into your fresh phase down. That's fine. It is spear dragon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate Michi Zuri, kill your set. Um... Okay, that's fine. It's Yada. It was Yada. Okay. Wow, very cool. Um, I'll go main two, and I will end my turn. Okay. I'll draw. I'll never to main one. I <laughs> I'll set one, and I will set another. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Standby phase, main phase? Yep. I'll go battle? Sure. Clear into the fresh. This time, it is dragon dwelling in the cave. Okay. Anything you'd like to do in damage here? In damage step, I'm still going to activate this Rush Recklessly, uh, and I'm going to pump it by at least 700 here, so I take less. That is a-okay. So you're only going to take 200 here instead of nine. Yes. Um, main two? Sure. I'll exterminate the face down you just said. Was Michizure. I think I'm okay. out, I and I am. The last one, yeah. All right. Um... I will just set a monster, and I will... I'll just end my turn, I think. I think. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna end. Go ahead. We have a gummy board state we find ourselves in. Oh, main one. Last set, like, now that your yacht is out of the equation, it's gotta be like... It's gotta be like your other witch? Could be another four star. I hate to say it, bud. We've been doing this for a little bit, but I think I think you've lost this game. I'm not out of it yet. Uh, it's definitely tricky. I'll say that, but I don't think I'm out of it. God. God damn it, dude. What is my win con? I know mine. I know yours too. I don't know mine is the problem. <laughs> I, and I've got more than one win con at this moment. I know you yeah, I, it, you, you have multiple ways and I figured those out. So I'm trying to figure out how I can win this. And I think it's probably gonna start by doing this. I'm going to stamping destruction this set. What's the grab? Five. Okay, take five. Uh, I will stamping destruction your other set. Yeah, it's bottomless. Okay. Uh, we had a feeling that was bottomless, but we didn't know if it was. Uh, I'm going to put dragon to attack. Sure. Battle hit witch. Yeah. Good. Anything in damage? Yep. No, you're good. Okay. So I'll take two. Excuse me. Another hundred. And then, uh, mandatory witch search. Let me see if I got yep. anything. Of the witch, I will pick up a exile force. All right. Uh, second main, because I don't have any other attackers. I'm throwing it to you. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by me. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to normal summon exiled force. And then. Uh, I'm going to think here. Priority. <laughs> <laughs> right? Did you imagine? I think I would rather pick what you kill. So I think I'm going to burst breath here and just kill it. Okay. I'm going to activate Reborn. I knew you had it somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target Crass Clown. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You got Jinzo in your graveyard, too. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to take your Jinzo. Yeah, I figured. Okay. I almost got away with it. I almost nah, got away with nah. it. Nice Jinzo here. Unfortunately, Vengeful Bog Spirit, so I can't attack with him. Yeah, thankfully. Um, With Jinzo on board, Snatch Steel doesn't exist, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to end my turn, man. Go ahead. Okay. We'll draw. I have Fisher for the Jinzo. Yo! All right. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that crisis is averted. Okay. Um, three cards in deck, huh? Three cards in deck. Well, yeah, yeah, three cards in deck, huh? <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be down to the wire. I will set one and pass. Dope, I'll draw. Stand by me. All right, I'm gonna flip giant rat. Sure. I'll set one and I will pass, go. All right, I don't even know what's left in my deck, if I'm being honest, which is not helping my situation. I'm just gonna pass, go ahead. All right, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna draw. Yep. Stand by me. I'll go battle. Uh, wait, wait. I'll activate- You're about that, buddy? Mage power, and then I'll go Oh, battle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so this rat's fucking- brr, He's big, bro. All right, what do you got? He's 3,400. Yeah, oh, he's fucking Lord. smacking right now. Well, it's my tornado bird, which I was really hoping I could stop you from hitting at some point. Doesn't really matter what I'm bouncing here, if I'm being honest. Yeah, stuff's pretty much getting played again so yeah i guess i'll bounce bog spirit and dark door okay bog dark main two i'll play um i'll just play bog again and uh i will i'll just set and uh i'll pass we'll draw <laughs> oh my god it was a turn too late i think it was a turn too fucking late well, I do have a potential way here. I'm not feeling confident though. Uh oh. All right. Okay. I will normal summon Gray Wing. <laughs> All right. I will torrential the boar. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's fine. <sighs> it wasn't which. All right. I was hoping. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I'll draw. Mage power is gone too. Mage power is gone. You're right. Yep. My bottom was a be play. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh my you don't know God. how many I have, though, to be fair. I know. I'll activate pre -mat. Sure. I'll pay eight and I'll target <sighs> dream. That's fine. Okay, go. Anyway, I cannot draw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Game three. Oh, my God. Yes, we did it. Whoa, what a fucking game, bro. Holy shit. Oh, my God. <laughs>i I'm, I'm gonna be kicking myself. I, I, I refuse to believe Pot of Greed was the reason I lost that. There had to have been like some window I missed to be able to kill you. And I know the comments probably already figured it out. It was just like, I couldn't find the way to get enough damage in like one fell swoop to kill you. That was the problem. I could get you like on like 500, but like that wasn't gonna matter if you reestablish all your floodgates, so. Yeah, see, that's the difference between a good player and you, bro. <laughs> the good wow. player would have figured that okay. out. <laughs> All right. So I get to go second this time. Uh, and let's see what you got, buddy. Go ahead. All right, bro. Well, good luck. This is going to be a good game, I think, here. I'm going to go standby phase, main phase. Kudos to the audience for sticking around this long. Yeah, this yeah. A long one. I'll start my turn by normal summoning Dark Elf. That's a big one. Yep. It is a big one. I will set a card and I'll just end my turn. All right. I'll draw. Standby main. Uh, let's start like we did last game. We'll duo you. <sighs> yep. See if we hit something good. Let's hit this one. All right. It's extermination. Yeah. Fine. And the other card I pitch will be Yada. Getting rid of the Yada. Huh. Oh, interesting. All right. Uh, in that case, I will set one and I'll just start to you, buddy. All, All right. right. Game on. I'll draw. Stand by me. I'll go battle. I'll poke into your dweller. Hey, a thousand. It's not the dweller. It's actually four star ladybug of doom. Yeah, that'll take care of the dark elf. That's fine. Yep. Um, so we can commit a little bit more there. Yeah. I'll just pass. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Uh, main one, I'm going to run out my Mystic Tomato. Okay. Try to hit for 14. I'll take it. And second main, I'll just throw it over to you. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stay in my main. A bit quicker pace than the last few <laughs> games. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, I will set a card, and I'll just end my turn. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Main one, that one's actually not bad. Uh, I will Rhoda. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know if you saw this yet, uh, but I will get uh, Exile Force. Yep. I didn't see your Rota, I don't think, actually. Oh, uh, I'll just run out Exile Force, which yep. is pop the set. Yep. Damn, that was a good one. Okay, hit for 14. Yep, I'll take it. Second main, I am just chilling. Over to you. I'll draw. Stand my main. I will set, and I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Let's go to main one. I'm going to run out Grey Wing. Okay. Try to go to battle here. It's hit for 13. Uh, I'll activate Mirror Wall here. Because you're going to have some damage. So you're going to take 650 from this and then 7 from the tomato. Yep. And then second main, I will set one. Throw it your way. Okay. Draw. Like uh, to pay for the Mirror Wall? Absolutely not. I will set it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll activate Premature Burial. I'll pay 800. Yuck. Target. Goes in attack, which is very important for Crass Clown. Yeah, I'll target the Dark Elf. Uh, that makes sense, sure. All right, I'll go Battle Phase. Okay. I'm going to attack any of your Grey Wing, and I'll pay a 1,000. Okay. On attack deck, I will activate Burst Breath. I'll sack off the Grey Wing, take out your Dark Elf. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, 
Main two, I'll fissure the tomato. Makes sense. And uh, I will, I'll play Reborn. Wow! It's not easy, Premature though. and Reborn, insane. It doesn't feel good, though. I think I'm going to have to take the Dark Elf here. So um, Okay. I am going to take it. Okay. And uh, I'll pass. Go ahead. We'll draw. That's a bit too late, sadly. Uh, I will set, and I will set, and I'll throw it your way. All right, I'll draw. Stand my main. I'll play Dark Door. That's pass. pretty good. Okay. I'll draw. Main one. I will set another. Go ahead. All right, cool. I'll draw. I'll play Dream Clown. Yuck. And yep. I'll pass. Okay. We'll draw. Main one. All right. I need to deal with this Dream Clown. That is a problem. I don't have the cleanest of answers here. Let's see. I'm going to flip summon Dragon Dwelling in the cave. Okay. I'm going to Stamping Destruction your set. Okay. I'm going to chain it, Rush Recklessly, on the Crown. On the Clown. Okay. I'll take five. Uh, you take the five. Yep. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. That was pretty good. Get to preserve the clown. Dark Elf is offline, which makes me feel slightly better. Uh, not uh, technically offline. I could totally still attack with it. Uh, you could. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I will set one, and I will throw it to you. Cause sadly, my dragon is just not... Uh, he's been dwelling too much. He's been dwelling. All right, I'll draw. I'll go exterminate the, the back row you just set. Oh, you were so lucky. Oh, my God. There's oh, no... I am not dealing with TT so another lucky. season, bro. Come on, man. That's too much stress. Did you forget TT was in the last game, or were you just so? Like, I just totally the game? forgot. I didn't see you play it at all. Like, did you even reveal it in the last game? I did. I revealed it. I showed it to you because I had to try to kill off to try to get you to search for witch. That's remember? So crazy. I did forget it. Oh I was like God, waiting for the bro. reaction. I guess there it is. It's delayed. All Fuck. right. Well, it's gone now. Yeah. I, I'll. I mean, you'll be good to know. I don't have a copy of oh, fucking torrential tribute. That, <laughs> <buddy. laughs> um. All right. Well, this stuff not pumped up anymore. I guess I'll put Clown in defense and I'll pop the face down. All right, it is Tornado Bird. Okay, cool. Can't attack with Dark Elf, so I'll just pass. Okay, I'll draw. Battle, hit the Clown. Yep. Second main. <laughs> I'll set one. Uh, go ahead. Draw, stand by main. Yep. I will activate swords. Wow. <laughs> go. All right, I got oh three more turns, baby. God. Let's go. <laughs> we'll draw. I mean, Dark Elf's putting up a pretty good wall anyway. As yeah, is. She's doing uh, what I needed her to do. I'll put this in defense. I will just pass. Turn one on swords. Yep on swords i'll just pass go okay please i will pass turn two on swords okay i'll draw it makes me feel good that you've already used premature and reborn so like your reach is pretty low here i'll pass again but i'll draw you've got to be fucking kidding me i'm <laughs> dead to like if you have both of your I stamping know, grounds I'm to kill you. <laughs> dude if you have both of your stamping grounds in deck i'm dead to burn like <laughs> oh my god Swords yes! Oh my god, I get another turn! I'll draw! Please be something good. Oh no! That's the best card in the deck! I'll greed for two! Oh, fuck yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, we're gaming. I'll set one, two, go. Draw. Exterminate the set. I'll chain space. And, um, Target. I'll hit this one. Bottomless. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, now we get to play the game. What's the set? <laughs> Witch, Sangen, could be a recruiter, could be a clown, could be a four-star ladybug. Oh, there's so many things you have. I think I have to go for it. Okay. I will stamping destruction, dark door. Okay, that's fine. I'll take take five. <laughs> 50 life points left. Okay. I will normal summon gray wing. Okay. I will fisher dark elf. Okay. I will put dragon to attack. Okay. I will hit with gray wing. <laughs> it's giant rat. <laughs> Fuck! It was one of the things I really did not want it to be. All right, so I'm going to take, what, 150 here? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I had to go for it. There's a, a very high chance I could hit over whatever it was. Um, even though I attacked in the wrong order, actually. I should have attacked with dragon dwelling, so I didn't die. Um, all right, buddy. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stand by phase, main phase. 50 life points. You cannot make a 50 single mistake. He left. Cannot. No, it is very touchy. I've been tempting fate way too long, too. So I'm going to... I need to play around the fact that if you draw Jinzo, I would have been just dead. <laughs> I'm going to activate Fissure. I'll get rid of the Dweller. Okay. Same attack. You get to pick. Okay. 
So if I put this rat in attack position, what am I losing to? You lose if I top deck any monster that can kill rat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to keep it in defense and use the float. I'll set a card and I will end my turn. Monster. <laughs> I'm going to set a card. Throw it your way. All right. I'll draw. Stand by me. Yep. I will summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Bottomless. Thought so. Thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it shine and everything. I get it. <laughs> I'm going to go through the list again, okay? Okay. Bottomless Tomatoes Crash. Tomato doesn't get you a card bigger, no. Oh, I'm dead to your Dragon Spear, dude. I'm dead to your Dragon Spear regardless. He's strong. He's 19. He's big. All right. Fuck it. No gamble, no future. I'm going to put the wrath to attack. Bump. No gamble, no future, buddy. No gamble, no future, baby. Let's go. Okay. It's always shreds, baby. Let's end this shit. Yes, let's go. Yes, let's get rid of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Okay. He's down. All right, all right. Okay, go ahead. Your turn. We'll draw. Mystic Tomato. Off oh, the no. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Okay, I gotta okay. see what you have. Okay, right, giant you rat. Too, you go first. Oh no, bro. <laughs> oh no! I think you definitely have something bigger. Let's see you summon me. Let's see you summon. I'm gonna summon. He's not big enough. No. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna. All right, I think this is it, bro. I really think you got it. I'm gonna summon the only target in my deck that's gonna be big enough to to combat anything, and that's Dream Cloud. Oh my god. Summon the other and tomato. I have the other tomato. Oh go. my god. Is it over? It's over. It's oh, over. We won. <laughs> Yo. Holy fuck. Change of heart IO. Holy shit. Oh wow. my god, that was bro. A marathon. Damn, dude. That was a game. I really don't even fuck. know what more to say besides holy shit. That was a game. I just have to say good game. I feel like, honestly, either one of us could have walked with yeah. that. Yeah, like, man. I felt like this was really back and forth. Wow. This was like hot. Talk about an episode. This was hype. So, uh, okay. Tell me, uh, LOD apparently did okay with you. You got an exiled force. It did all right with me. I got, got exiled too. force got and I got something that I was trying. It's, it's super gimmicky, bro. And I'm very upset. Yeah. I didn't have the combo with it. It's so surprising. I got a last turn. Yo. Yeah. So okay. last turn's like fucking dope. For, I had to explain it to people, but if you don't know, like if you have Jaugen spiritualist, like if I have a one field and I flip last turn, you can't special summon a monster. Correct. So, so my Jaugen. Jowgen, then. Yeah, my Jowgen. I don't have a Jowgen. <laughs> I oh. didn't I didn't pull any Jowgens in my opening for LON. So I just have last turn, but no combo with it. I decided to play it because I was like, if I can resolve it, it'll be super funny. There was a lot of points in this game I could have resolved it. But um, I quickly realized the only way I could win is if I cleared your Jinzo and then used last turn. Because if oh, you summon Jinzo, I, I, I don't have anything bigger than it. But I'm curious, what's the biggest card in your deck besides Jinzo? The second biggest card in my deck is Spear Dragon. Okay, cool. So 19. if I would have... My goal Fiend last Mega game? Cyber? No, actually, I took Fiend Mega Cyber out. It's Dark Elf. But I was trying elf. to think. That's last game. I was trying to set up the uh, the Dark Elf with the last turn because I okay. cleared Jinzo and I'm like, I can win this, like, guaranteed. That's why right. I still had last turn in the deck, so I was thinking I could still win it regardless, but... That would have been a very fitting end to this if you last turn managed to, like, actually get played. That uh, yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. So, oh, I mean, man. that was okay. I, it treated me all right. I didn't get anything too crazy besides that. Um, okay. What did you get, though? So, I got the Spear Dragon. I also got I got the other secret. I got Injection Fairy Lily. I opted oh, not okay. to play it, though. My logic for not playing it was that I thought you still might be playing, like, Chain Burn Stall, and tanking my own life points by 2,000 did not seem like a good idea. So if we were in, like, a more aggressive situation, I probably would have played it. But, like, yeah, it plays under Gravity Bind, but, like, you have, like, stuff that can, like, interact with things when they attack. So it, it just seemed very risky to play it. I also didn't have, like, a Giant Rat, sadly. So I can't just, like, let Giant Rat float into Fairy Lily or something. So that kind of sucks. I did get Exiled Force, you saw. This card, I mean, obviously we know this card's amazing. Got Rota too, uh, not bad. I did get Rota, so I got Rota this time, apparently, uh, instead of you, but obviously side sets can change that later on. So I imagine you'll be getting Rota in a side set at some point. Got two Bottomless, I think, and then I also got Oppression, as a matter of fact. Okay. I actually got so, three Oppression and then oh. four Bottomless Trample. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so yeah. Um, oppression's weird, like, we don't it's do a ton of special right summoning. I no. feel like the only, I still had it in my main, and I might have sided it out, I don't recall, but I liked it because it stops reborn and premature burial. And that's like sort of like the reach you have over me. So in that way, it's sort of like a second Imperial Order in a lot of ways. So I figured that's probably worth the slot to cut you off of those cards exactly. But other than that, 
like you can't use it in damage step and we have a lot of recruiters so like that sucks there's really like nothing else we're really just just summoning out i guess like your fiend mega cyber yeah, i get right. a pressure in that but like whatever so eh, it's like it, it didn't seem like too great i and then honestly the mvp for me stamping destruction stamping was, was super, nice stamping was i was nice. super hyped that we got actual somewhat decent spell and trap removal this time around and it sucks because this card is good the problem is the dragons we have suck yeah. as you saw i was playing dragon dwelling in the cave as well as a uh, gray wing i was considering playing troop dragon thank god i decided against that because gray wing having 1300 attack actually mattered for a burst breath here which is basically like a dark hole in some ways yeah so just having some extra cards here was nice and then you saw this buddy uh let's just say the wheel was uh pretty kind to me and uh, I got to get an ultra out of Labyrinth of Nightmare. So, uh, oh, that's looks where like you I'm got the it. One with the board wipe now, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it's only fair, I guess. Yeah, that wheel is nuts, isn't it? Feels good to spin yeah, it. Yeah, but wow, this was a marathon. This was a crazy ass episode. I cannot, if this is like, I hope they're not all this long, but like the intensity and how down to the wire these games have been, I really hope this continues. This is like what the progression Man, series is. Yeah, all remember about. when all the people were saying the DM era was a snoozer to watch? I, man, say that I now, disagree. Bro. Say that I now. I disagree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do we... Is uh, Pharaonic Guardian next? Yep. I PGD. believe. Yep. Don Zalug, you got Grave there. Keepers. Say, Metamorphosis. You know, share if you play. You know, Metamorphosis. Okay. All right. We got some fun stuff coming up. I can't wait, buddy. This is going to be so man. hype. Season two in full effect, baby. Let's fucking go. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons, as always. A big shout to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Tim 0 x 3 Ian Musa, Chaotic People, SJ Winchester, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hope. MBT play Medulce, Synchro Guy, Ole, Yusuf Asano 5, Mystic Walk, I ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Rockside, Logan, Thomas, Peter, Gregory, Thomas, Elson, Jordan, Coons, Kelvin, Iron Blades, and Purius, Jesse, with True Nergasm, Brother, Paul, Chris, So, David, Lou, Skyros, Dylan, Hunter, John, Two Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody, Eastwood, Day, Sir, Carlos, DT, Flannel, Daddy, Hornet, Give Me Speed Warrior, Give Me Death, Jonah, Messenger, Oh My God, Guys, Please Read Your Cards, CC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Matthew Brady, Dyer, the Egyptian Editor, Max, Tom, Russell, Why Read Your Cards When You Can Just Click Buttons, Ben, Snatch, Shield for Prog 2021, Helios 515, Five, paint French girls like one of your MBTs. Black Acre, say Gage Gang Engage three times fast. The entire state of Indiana. These cards, MBT fans gaming more than COVID. Simping for Simo, Mark Jackson, Tyler H, Justice for Queen Tiramisu, and Simo's harem of sexy Yugi tubers. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.